Welcome to the Rider Pride 639 channel, or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. Uh, on the last episode, I gave you guys a quick review of the early access gameplay of a game called Deathless Tales of Old Rust, which is a deck building roguelike game uh, from 1C Game Studios. So in today's episode, I'm going to be taking you guys back inside the game for the version 0.2 update uh, and the newly released hero, Vasilisa. Uh, this is going to include some new cards, new relics, monsters, a new difficulty selection, and of course a flurry of bug fixes and rebalancing uh there's still plenty of more uh to be coming to the game in uh, future updates as well such as the third unnamed hero uh, as well as a bestiary uh and there's going to be a lot more th to that as well so make sure you guys drop a like on the video make sure that you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so that way you guys don't miss any new videos that come out in the future so throughout your battles you're going to be faced with multiple decisions and it's up to you to decide which is the best course of action to eliminate your enemies and reap the rewards. So here's a few tips, tricks, and suggestions that you can take with you on your journey to defeat Koshe the Deathless. Each hero has a certain style of deck and a selection of cards to unlock before you can access them. During your first few playthroughs, don't worry too much about getting to the final fight. It is a roguelike after all. If you lose, you can always go again with a new run. Plus, you do accumulate points for your hero based on how far you get, which will allow you to unlock more cards for your deck selection in future runs. Keep unlocking more powerful cards for your hero to complete your collections. As you begin progressing through your runs, your card selections will likely determine what the theme of your deck is going to play out like. There's no real wrong way to build your deck, but it's always a good idea to watch which rewards you're getting, so that way you can maximize the synergies in your deck to make your battles a little easier. Between battles, you will be given three path choices to move to your next fight. Each path will offer a different set of rewards, as well as give you some mixture of bonuses and penalties during the course of the fight. Be sure to look at each reward, bonus, and penalty very closely to determine which way you want to go. Always look at the situation you're in and what's coming up. The bar at the bottom will show you your progress before each boss fight becomes available. The great thing about the boss battles here is that you can delay fighting them until you're ready, but don't delay too long. Eventually, you will have no choice but to fight a boss battle. Choose the reward path that suits your needs at the time. Do you need more consumables? Maybe some more gold to spend at an upcoming merchant? Or maybe you just need one more attack card to make your deck come together? Rewards are given after the fight, based on the path you chose. You'll always receive a bit of gold to go with the reward you chose, whether that be consumables, relics, new cards, card upgrades, healing, or even visiting the merchant. You may also receive additional rewards, such as consumables or additional cards to add to your deck. Remember, in the case of choosing from a selection, try to pick something that synergizes with the deck you've built so far. During the course of the fight, understanding enemy intentions is a major part of how you can succeed in battle. The enemy intention will always appear over their heads and give you an indication of what's coming when your turn ends. Take a look at your hand. Do you have enough attacks to eliminate the enemy in front of you? What about being able to defend their attacks? Are enemies planning on shifting their positions? There's lots of things to take into account and it's easy to make a mistake if you're not paying attention. But here's a couple things to remember when you're questing for victory. When an enemy's HP drops to zero, they will remain on the field as a corpse. They can still be moved around, and once the corpse's HP reaches zero, the corpse will be removed and the next enemy in line will come to the front. Use this to your advantage when you're planning out your next moves. Corpse health will decay on its own each turn, and don't forget to read their intentions. If the second enemy in line is intending to attack and you remove the front enemy, that second enemy will still get its attack. If you have the right cards though, you can make a plan to eliminate an enemy and reposition them so that the next enemy isn't able to attack. Some enemies do have ranged attacks and can still hit you even if they're in the back row. So plan your attacks carefully and don't forget to defend. You only have a limited amount of HP and healing doesn't exactly come easy. You and the monsters on the field will constantly have buffs and debuffs throughout the course of the fight based on your cards, relics, and consumables, as well as any monster abilities and bonuses and penalties from the path that you chose. Each of those buffs and debuffs are shown underneath the player and monster health bars, and you can see what each one does by hovering your mouse over them. There's no timers in the fights, so if you need to take a moment to read through them, use that time to your advantage. Don't be afraid to use your consumables during a fight. They are fairly common rewards in fights, and sometimes, if you choose a consumable reward path, you can sometimes get two as a reward. 
These items will turn the tide of a battle quickly, so don't hoard them if you don't have to. Understanding monsters when you fight them is a bit more of a difficult skill to master, but the more you play, the more you'll learn. Some monsters have unique abilities. Others have special conditions for their attacks and defense. Don't forget to read those abilities under the monster's health bar. This can also help you in planning out your turn and whether to defend or lay it on the line with a full-out attack. As was mentioned in the previous episode, if you end up losing a battle, there's no need to worry. You have the option of replaying the battle, however this is now only available on easy and normal modes. This can be very valuable if you made a fatal mistake during the fight that you know would turn the tide of the fight in your favor if you had just played it a little bit differently. All right, guys, thank you very, very much for tuning in to another review video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this new update in action and all the improvements that it brought into the game. Uh, don't forget this game is currently available on Steam right now, and it will grant you early access. So you can jump right into the action. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, I would really, really appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if this is the kind of game you're going to put on your Steam wish list. Uh, or if you do happen to have it in your library, tell me what you've enjoyed about the game or what you'd like to see in a future update. Uh, you can also catch me playing this game and many others live on my Twitch channel, uh, which you can find over at twitch.tv slash writerpride639, so make sure you guys follow me over there. Uh, you're also welcome to come check me out on all of my social media channels, uh, all of which you're going to find uh, in a link tree link uh, in the video description down below. Uh, also, I want to have put out a big, big thank you again to the fine folks at Evolve PR for granting me a review key uh, for this game as well, so I can do these videos for you. Uh, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, guys, if you want to get uh, into some game reviews yourself, uh, make sure you go check out Evolve PR online. Uh, just give them a Google search, uh, and especially if you're a content creator, you can get game keys like this one to do review videos with. Uh, but anyways, thank you all very, very much. Uh, thank you all again for tuning in to another amazing review. I uh, can't wait to, uh, to bring you another video when the next major update comes out. So we will see you next time. And until then, take care.